Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. So it's dinner time and we are making pork chops, peas and rice. And it's coming out of the gooseberry five ingredient family favorite recipes, okay? So first thing it calls for is for you to brown your pork chops a little bit in a skillet, lightly greased skillet. I put a little bit of olive oil in there and I have four pork chops in there. It also wants three cups of boiling water. So I have my water going right now. It's at a small, a small boil. Now I'm gonna try this again, I already, okay. So here we go. There's our clay pan. And the next step it says to lightly grease your pan, which I did with my nonstick spray. Um, and then it wants you to put a can, a 15 ounce can or 10.5 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup on the bottom. But I really thought that wasn't enough for a cup and a half of rice. So I'm going to use the uh, 26 ounce, which is basically, well, it's almost triple. Um, hold on. I'm going to use the big can of cream of mushroom soup, okay? And I'm going to spread it, like it says, evenly throughout the dish. We like gravy on our rice anyway, so I just felt like the other one wasn't enough. And I'm always willing to tweak my recipes a little bit so that they fit me how I like it. Okay, make sure you get in there with your spatula and you can if you have a rubber spatula, you can get all that soup out of there. All right, next thing it says to do uh, in the rest, and then sprinkle a soup mixture over. So we have the, oops, sorry, the onion soup mix. We're only gonna use one packet. It just gives flavor is what it does, basically. So, Gonna spread this over the cream of mushroom soup. Everything I had for this recipe I had in my pantry. I didn't have to go to the store for anything. So that's one good thing about stocking up your pantry. All right, and then it says to um, spread peas and uncooked rice on top. All right, so. Um, here was my peas. It was one 15 ounce can of sweet peas and I had to and it said to drain them so I did. So I'll sprinkle that over. I really personally think that the frozen peas would have worked better but we're gonna try it this way. And a cup and a half of uncooked rice. Sprinkle that over. And let's see what it says to do next. Arrange the brown of the, okay, so I browned my pork chops, as you can see, there they are. I browned them on each side, and now I'm going to, they're not cooked completely through, but that's okay because we're gonna put it in the oven and cook it longer. So we're just gonna arrange this right over the top of the soup and the peas and the rice. easy enough and then pour boiling water over the top cover and bake at 400 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes oops let me go change that I had it at 350 so bake 400 okay so I have my water boiling and I'm going to pour that right over the top that's what's going to cook all our rice and the soup mix, the dry soup mix, is what's going to give all the flavor. Okay, now it says to um, cover and bake at 400 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes. So. All 
All right, and so, I will be back in an hour to show you how it turned out, okay? All right, I'll see you then. Okay, guys, we're back, and it baked for an hour, and I'm really glad that I uh, put the extra cream of mushroom soup in there. So here's the pork chop. Um, let me let me cut a little piece and see how I'd like it. Because a lot of times I find that pork chops um, are really dry. Oh my gosh. Mm. You guys, that is so tender. Wow. Wow, that turned out really good. Let's let's dig into the rice here now. Um, I'm really shocked actually, you guys. And I really had my doubts about this. Okay, so this is what the rice looks kind of creamy, which um I like it that way. So, can you see? It's kind of soupy, probably because I put more than what it said, but that's okay with me because I don't like when the rice is not cooked all the way or if it's dry. And I did not put any seasoning on the pork chops whatsoever. I didn't put any garlic salt or anything. The only seasoning we got is from that um, onion soup mix. So let's see. Oh well. You know what, you guys? This is a total thumbs up. I like it. I mean, this looks like a, it looks like a total, you know, home cooked meal. Um, it's not fancy. It's just a home on the range type of <laughs> meal. You know, it's just a good home cooked meal. So. Me and the husband are going to go enjoy dinner. And this got a complete thumbs up from my cookbook. So, all right, you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.